What's up guys, this is Shaban and you are watching Shaban Interactive Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to view your 3D stereoscopic cube map images by using Oculus Quest 2. Please follow my instructions and you will be able to use your 3D stereoscopic cube maps in a very high quality with this headset. I assume you guys already know how to use SideQuest. 3D stereoscopic cube map images are the best option for the 3D VR systems. As you guys know, Oculus was providing us an amazing 360 photo app for the Samsung Gear VR headset. We were able to put 3D stereoscopic cube map files to view very high quality VR images. However, there is no app for the MetaQuest 2 which we can view cube map images right now. So I decided to dig in this topic and finally I have managed to make it work flawlessly. I modified the Oculus 360 photo app and now you can download and install it to your MetaQuest 2 headset by using SideQuest. Before installing the app, I want to show you how to prepare your pre-rendered cube map images for the Oculus 360 photo app. This photo viewer requires a unique JSON file in order to view your cube map. I will show you how easily you can do that. Please download the instruction text document from the link below in the description. First, specify a folder for your cube map images. Then, put your cube map PNG images into that folder. Run command prompt. Jump into your specified folder. Then copy and pass the code. Here you need to rename shown areas according to your image file name. Then hit enter and now JSON file is ready. Now download the APK file and open SideQuest program. Connect your MetaQuest 2 device to your computer. Go to file section and find Oculus folder. We need to create a new folder and name it 360 photos. Then drag and drop your PNG cube map image and JSON file into that folder. Now it's time to install the APK file. Click install APK file from folder section and choose your downloaded APK file. Click open. Now modified 360 photo app has been installed on your headset. Disconnect your headset and restart it. You need to restart your headset every time you put new image files. Oculus recognize them on boot. Now wear your headset and follow my instructions. Okay guys, as you can see, uh, we installed the Oculus 360 photo application into our Oculus Quest 2. Now we have to find it uh, by clicking App Library. Well, now we are seeing the applications that we uh, installed, but in this section we should choose the unknown sources. Is it 11 application? As you can see, the, um, the last application we just installed here is a Oculus 360 Photos. Uh, for the first time opening, 
just click it and you will see all the things here all necessary um, things here just all of all of them all the permissions you know and just continue now you will see the application will start up. now yes uh, it says that you couldn't connect to oculus 360 photos try again later but just ignore this message we will use only the my photos site here uh, move your head and point my photos with your head and then trigger now we will see the 360 photos that we have created inside the side quest oculus okay now we can see when uh, trigger this you will see my design is alien queen design here it is not shown thumbnail but when you open it first time then thumbnail will be shown now let me show you how to open it and trigger it now our cube map is very nice as you can see it has a 3d depth maybe you cannot see in the video 3d depth but please try this on your uh, oculus headset you will see this this method is working only for oculus case 2 i didn't uh, try the previous one but as you can see it is working very well before i close this i want to show you about the navigation system we are using oculus controllers uh, we will use trigger to start or stop tour here but you have to aim you have to aim the buttons with your head, you know? Pause slideshow, and you can add this to the fa favorites. Now, when you pause the slideshow and uh, hit the trigger to the any uh, empty area, now this view is stable, it will not change. Uh, I want you to see how I navigate the next page. You see, you cannot go to the next page it will not go out go out or down as you can see you have to be upper column up little bit and down up little bit and down you see like this up little bit and down down like this for the front down up a little bit and up I hope you guys enjoy what my video so please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials for more unique videos like this one